The first time <laughs> I started singing at my dad's church when I was about 11, and that's kind of where I got the bug for singing because, you know, singing at church is cool, but that just gave me, it made me want to perform more. Uh, so I was about 14 or 15 when I started picking up guitar and playing shows around my hometown, and uh, that grew into wanting to write songs, and that grew into wanting to play bigger shows and more shows, and started coming up to Nashville. The first year I ever came to CMA Fest was 2010, and Alan Jackson was performing at Nissan Stadium, and anybody that knows me knows that Alan Jackson's my favorite of all time. I remember coming to CMA Fest as a fan. It was awesome, just because that was like, you get to see everybody that you ever wanted to see in concert in like a four-day span. My favorite song to perform is probably one of the good ones. It's my favorite song that I've ever recorded. It's got such an energy that really sets the tone for the rest of my live show. So it's, uh, it's, it's a good, good little tone setter for it. I think the craziest thing I've seen at CMA Fest for myself is the fact that people come to these shows and they know the words to my songs. And that's the most amazing thing that I could think to happen to me and something that I never thought was gonna happen. The best piece of advice I can give to somebody that's wanting to move to Nashville to pursue music is something that I wish somebody would have told me and that's you gotta have patience. Everything is all about timing, whether it's the song or the right company, whatever it is, it's gonna take some time to get it right. When I first came to Nashville, I wasn't totally sure who I was as an artist. I knew I liked writing, I knew I liked singing songs, but I hadn't really found like my thing that really defined like my, my artistry and you know the music that I wanted to make. And you know I've, I've got a lot of influences that range from Alan Jackson to you know bands like the Eagles and even bands like Sum 41 and Blink-182. I you know I went through one of those phases and um, I still love that music. And as I've gotten older I've gotten into you know Ed Sheeran and Bruno Mars and you know Timberlake and all these you know all this pop stuff and so it all kind of just blends somewhere and whatever comes out is like that's that's my sound it came from me trying things out and experimenting and failing at some things and going okay that doesn't work i can't do that or this does work i need to do more of this and um you know this music that i'm creating right now from one of the good ones to the other songs that we're going to release this year are exactly what i've always wanted to record and put out for people see may fest that's a wrap Lies, you were holding on to something that was second to none, talking one of the